start today with an important story about where people in China can work and live. China has decided to effectively scrap the hukou system for some of its smaller cities to encourage urbanization and social mobility. Okay, explain the hukou system to me. The hukou system is basically a household registration system based on a person's place of birth and where their family is from. A person's hukou determines where they can access public services such as medical care and education. In recent years, it's also been connected to the right to buy a home in many cities. Any changes to the hukou system are extremely important as it can influence property prices, labor mobility around the country, and even inequality, as of course certain parts of the country are much richer than others. Okay, so what's new? Well, according to new policy guidelines issued Wednesday by the Central Committee of the Communist Party and the State Council, all restrictions on household registration will be removed in cities with an urban residential population of less than 3 million. Residency limits will be relaxed in larger cities with populations between 3 and 5 million, so more people will be able to change their hugo for these cities. And finally, for mega cities with more than 5 million residents, like Beijing, Shanghai and the like, the government says that household registration policies will be streamlined and public services will be improved to ensure access to all residents. So what has brought this on? Well, there are a few reasons. First, a lot of Chinese cities are facing a mounting number of empty, unsold properties. The policy could play a role in helping people buy some of these properties. Second, some of these smaller cities have massive skill shortages in certain areas. The hope is that by relaxing or altogether scrapping the hukou, then it will make it easier for people to move in and fill these shortages. And third, China is rapidly urbanizing. There is a general acknowledgement that a system that might have played a useful role, from the government's perspective at least, back when the country's workforce was mostly working in agriculture, is perhaps not fit for purpose for 2019's economy. So this is actually part of a far larger process of reform that's been going on for years and years with regards to the hukou system. So why did you pick this as your top story? Well, for all the reasons I said earlier, it could affect the country's property market. Liberalizing the system should also affect labor mobility and in the process inequality. All of these things will affect the overall level of demand in an economy and what people want to buy. Basically, the hukou system underpins a lot of Chinese society and its economy, so it's important for so many reasons. However, before we all get too excited about this, there's one big health warning. According to Tsai calculations, only four remote cities with fewer than 3 million urban residents currently meet the requirements to fully scrap their residency restrictions under the new policy. They are Lhasa in Tibet, Xining in the northwestern province of Qinghai, Haikou on the southern island province of Hainan, and Yinchuan in northwest China's Ningxiahui Autonomous Region. And these aren't exactly places to which lots of people want to move. So, while this news will change the hukou in numerous cities around the country, not just the four who are totally scrapping it, we are talking more about an evolution rather than a revolution in the system.